good just swimming in the pool of science. Today, we're going to talk about fluids. The scientists define a fluid as a substance that continuously deforms when a shear stress is applied. Normal Newtonian fluids, they have a linear relationship to the shear rate. But non-Newtonian, non-Newtonian, their viscosity changes non-linearly. Today we're gonna talk about non-Newtonian, non-Newtonian fluids. It's totally awesome! Tad Truska the fluids guy. Tad Truska the fluids guy. Fluids rules! <sighs> tad, 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 tad. Reynolds number is a property of flow. Tad Truska the fluids guy. Consider the following. Non-Newtonian non -Newtonian fluids exhibit two types of strange behavior. One is shear thinning. In shear thinning, as your shear rate increases, the viscosity decreases. These are found in certain complex solutions known as pseudoplastic. Pseudoplastic. Or thixotropic. Thixotropic. The other is shear thickening. As shear rate increases, viscosity increases as well. These are known as dilatant. Like dilatant. And controlled by such factors as particle size, shape, and position. These properties depend heavily on the Hammacher theory. Hammacher theory. And the Van der Waals force. Van der Waals forces. And can be stabilized electrostatically or sterically. And I don't even know what that means. This is totally useful. exhibits weird non-Newtonian non-Newtonian fluid attributes. When you pour it out, it starts to pile up like a rope. Something you wouldn't expect from a fluid. Let's check it out. We'll start with a spoonful of honey and watch as it starts to coil up on that plate right on top of itself. That's so cool! That was totally awesome, but the rope effect, kind of a dumb name. How about we try the Truscott effect! Truscott effect! Have you ever wondered what would happen if you drilled a bowl of water? Let's find out! Absolutely nothing! That's because it's a Newtonian fluid. Water acts just like all the regular fluids. But what would happen if we drilled a non-Newtonian fluid? We're going to demonstrate the, uh, what effect? The Weisenberg effect, Tad. Oh yeah, the Weisenberg effect. Weisenberg effect. started climbing up the rod? That's because it's non-Newtonian. Thanks for watching our demo on the Hindenburg <laughs> effect. Weisenberg tab. Oh yeah, the Weisenberg effect. Weisenberg effect. Because the viscosity of non-Newtonian fluids is non-linearly related to applied shear stress, determining the viscosity curve can be very tricky. The primary way to do this is to use a rheometer. A rheometer is a laboratory device that consists of two concentric cylinders. By placing a fluid in the annulus of the cylinders and spinning the inner cylinder at a known rate, we can learn many interesting things about the fluid. The outer cylinder will be dragged along, causing a torque on the machine, which is then measured and converted to shear stress. Thanks to this extraordinary device, we can fully characterize the viscosity of all kinds of non-Newtonian fluids. It is very cool. Did you know that? Did you know non-Newtonian non-Newtonian fluids are all around us? We even have non-Newtonian non-Newtonian fluids inside of us. Blood is a non-Newtonian fluid. We put non-Newtonian fluids on our hamburgers, ketchup, mayonnaise. We put non-Newtonian fluids on our ice cream, whipped cream, put it in our hot chocolate. That's awesome! 
Non-Newtonian fluids are used in many things. They use it for body armor, viscous couplers, and all-wheel drive systems. We even use it to make silly putty. Another form of non-Newtonian fluid is shampoo. You put it on your hair every day. And hot lava, which you don't put on your hair every day. I love hot lava. It's awesome, right? This stuff on my desk is a non-Newtonian fluid. Hello, future fluid dynamicists. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own non-Newtonian fluid at home. What you'll need is one half cup cornstarch, one fourth cup water, and something to mix it in. I'm using a pie tin. So we'll begin by adding our half cup of cornstarch and our one fourth cup water and mixing it around. Once you have it finished mixing, pick some up and try rolling it around in your hand. Notice it gets hard like a solid, but if you let go, it acts like a liquid and just falls through your finger. Some other cool stuff you can try with this is bouncing stuff off of it. I have a nice set of balls in this Tupperware to try. If I take the racquetball and bounce it off of the cornstarch mixture, notice it'll act like a solid and will bounce straight off of it. But if I just set it on there, it sinks in like a liquid and actually stick to the racquetball. This is so cool, guys. Try it at home. Disclaimer. Tad Truscott and Associates are not responsible for messy kitchens. Thanks for joining us on our wild fluid adventure. Now we gotta go try out some fluids. Tad Truscott, the fluids guy. Tad Truscott, the fluids guy. Fluids rules. Tad, 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 Tad. Property of flow. Tad trust the fluids guide.